y'all back for another one. Another studio setup. I think I'm gonna do like an all denim on denim look, just with this like brownish tinted background. These backdrops from Painted X Backdrops, I think that's what they're called. You can hear they're custom painted and they're just like these super high end, like rustic, regal, cinematic to me. So I'm obsessed with them. I have a couple of them. Uh, might be a couple more soon. So this is gonna be our key light right here. I love shooting with continuous lighting because it just makes life so much more easier, especially when you're shooting with film too. That's at 40%. From there, I have a room fill. So that room fill light, it's like an ambient room fill, whatever you want to call it. It's just going to add like the subtle blue, like an ambient blue, almost looks like we're in daylight. I do have the flag up here and this flag's just cutting it off from the backdrop because it will push the backdrop more towards like a green and I want it to be brown. So I'm going to mess with this. I might turn this off and just do like a basic kind of lighting setup. From there, we just have another hair light. See, so it just adds a subtle little kiss. And uh, I don't know, we'll see in the grade if this even makes sense, but I'm gonna be like on a 70 millimeter, so I'll be like super punched in. So all you'll really see is the backdrop in her. Also, it was V-Flat, from V-Flat World. Two of them now, I bought one and they sent me a second one, which was cool. There's dust on the slides. It just adds the contrast. So if this wasn't here, I have a white wall over there, it'd just be getting a lot of room fill. It wouldn't look as contrasty and I love contrast, so. Yeah, this is just a uh, negative feel. All right guys, so we started shooting and I wasn't really digging the lighting. It was just coming off super flat and it, I don't know, I felt like it was missing something. So I went and got one of my Nanlite Pavel tubes and I just set it right below the backdrop just to create a little bit more separation. Uh, and it really helped give a little bit more of like a cinematic look. So you can see it really just makes her pop off now and the background looks a lot warmer now too. And you can see the difference right there. All right, sorry guys, I didn't get that like amazing footage on this. I, we shot with three cameras on this, the Canon R5, my Canon F1, which you can see right here. I missed focus on a handful of the frames and I did recover them in post using AI technology. So I'll be doing a video after this on that and how I made it look like I didn't miss focus. Uh, and then the day before I picked up a new Polaroid camera, the Polaroid Now Plus, and I freaking love this thing. All like this film shooting just really makes you slow down and get more creative. It's weird because when I'm shooting with my digital camera, I find myself getting standard shots, but then when I pick up the film camera, I get way more creative. It's weird. And I take more risk, which is, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but it's just what happens. After the whole studio setup, we went and shot outside. So let me just play some of that footage and do more uh, voiceover. So dope. Okay. Keep some light on. Eyes closed. Three, two, one. The flash go off. Yo, I'm so sorry for this incredibly boring video. I'm about to find someone out here in LA now that would want to come intern or assist and come shoot uh, some behind the scenes for me and just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm not even gonna play the rest of this footage because it's just like, it's really boring. You can't even hear me directing or anything like that. So yeah, just enjoy the rest of these photos. And again, I apologize. Peace.